Uh, my name is Darlene. I'm from Southwestern Ontario and I've been a Vox associate for the past, I guess about a year and a half. Uh, I'm a massage therapist. I've been a massage therapist for 26 years and just a little plug for Vox. Uh, I'm thoroughly impressed. I'm very impressed with what it's been doing for myself, for my clients. Uh, and yeah, very thrilled about the thin insoles that have come out. So I want to talk to you today about them um, and how to how I'm going to choose to apply them to my shoes uh, with adhesive or without depending. Uh, the choice is actually up to you, um, but do know that head office is not going to cover your mistakes. So if you adhere them wrong or the adhesive you use wrecks the sole of the shoe after you try to take them out, um, that is up to you. That is your personal choice. So just be aware of that. Um, so yeah, um, if you have not tried the Vox technology before, uh, don't stick it in your shoes just yet. Make sure you put in a pair of shoes that you can test it out first to be sure that you're happy with that and, and that you're good to go. Uh, okay, so the first problem that I was having with people getting their, um, their regular insoles was the type of shoe that they were putting it in. So some people are addicted to their Skechers. Skechers have this wonderful little memory foam insole in them already. And a lot of the Skechers, you cannot take that out. So then the regular insoles do not fit. Uh, these have been a wonderful, wonderful way to combat that problem because as you can see, they're super thin. So uh, the women's insole comes in a generic size three to nine, which is trimmable. Uh, the men's I believe are seven to 12, maybe something like that, uh, which again are a little bit wider. They are narrow. That is because they need to fit into dress shoes. Uh, so be aware of that. So if you have a wide foot and a wide sandal, ladies, you may choose to get the men's size and trim that down. Okay, so this is a nine and a half shoe. This is a size nine insole. So realistically, this should fit perfectly. Let's find out. So a lot of shoes, you have to kind of just fold the insole so that it fits right in, slide it in, and oh, look at that, perfect fit. And my foot will fit in there because it, the insole has very little uh, depth to it. So that's one way. And with these type of shoes, because of the weight of the foot, you will not have to adhere them inside the shoe. That's one. The other one, if you have a dress shoe that has a heel and a toe, again, you may not need to adhere them at all. So be aware of that. Uh, not everything has to stick. Some of it, just the weight of your foot will make them stay. So again, size, I think, I don't know if these are size 10. I think they're a nine and a half as well. Size nine insole, it will slip right in. If it does not, you, will, you may need to trim it a bit. Um, and in that case, what I would suggest, get a piece of paper, trace your foot. Slip that into your shoe. If that fits, put the piece of paper onto your insole, then trim your insole to that, to that size. Okay, so here it is again. If I push it right down, it fits right in. Lovely. Okay, that's the second one. So those are the ones that you do not have to do anything sticky with. The next one is um, basically a summer heeled sandal. Uh, this one I'm gonna show you because I had a little bit thinner through the, the footbed. Uh, so I'll show you what I did with mine. Um, basically, again, take this, take the shoe, take the insole, fit it in, place it to the back, find out what's going on. Oh, look, almost perfect fit. But if you notice, it's sticking out on both sides. So what I'm going to do with that is take a black magic marker or a pencil, take whatever you want, and just trace a little line as you're holding it tight along that edge okay so that's your form and now you're stuck with two little lines on your shoe this is where it gets tricky do not cut into the technology okay so take your scissors I'll stand up for this so you can see what I'm doing so right on the edge we're gonna take this we're gonna come around the technology follow your black line and because of the strap, my black line stopped. So from that, I'm just gonna kind of ease out to the heel, cause I know the heel fit. Okay, so that cut in there. Same with this side, ease into your black line. If you had a strap there, cut to the black line, ease around that technology. Do not cut into the technology. Okay, it's not quite perfect. Get that trimmed up. If you found that the toe was a little bit too overhanging as well, 
you can trim up there too but again don't cut into the technology okay because that'll that'll void your void your warranty and it also will um could potentially wreck that technology okay so this pair of shoes is not um they're not my go-to shoes so i would like to have the option of removing the insole so what i'm going to do with this insole instead of adhering it with like liquid cement or something like that i'm going to use two-sided craft um, or scrap hooking tape uh, from Scotch. You can get both permanent and semi-permanent, but it's not strong enough to keep it into the shoe permanently, permanently, like forever. So it's nice in case you did need to pull it out for any reason. So what I'm gonna do there, I'm gonna put it in a V at the toe, if you can see the reflection kind of thing there. I'm gonna do the same thing at the heel. And then along the, the, the actual middle of it, I'm going to take one long strip and put it right over top of the instructions to hold it down. So now I've got my, my tape along the toe, the heel, and just a strip through the middle. And then I'm going to do the same thing I did before, just being careful not to touch the, the foot of the, of the shoe until I know I've got it pretty close in, into where I want it to go. Get it settled into the heel. And then start pressing down. And there I go. Problem solved. I have nothing showing from the back. Somebody else had suggested also that you can use a black magic marker to get rid of that white strip. Um, definitely. It's, it's something that unless you like the white strip, if you like stripes, then you might want a white strip on your shoe. And if not, then you can use a black marker to fix that. Okay. And last but not least, I have my, uh, my brand new, very cheap sandals, which I want to be able to wear without having pain of having a very cheap sandal. So I'm going to put in my Vox insole. So again, uh, you're going to be able to um, take your insole, just to be sure, make sure it's gonna fit. Again, if you're unsure, trace your foot onto a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard, cut it out and slip that in first, just to make sure you've got the right fit. Uh, my mom used to do that to buy shoes because she didn't want to take us with her because I think we were a bit of pain when we went shopping. But anyway, that's beside the point. That's another tutorial. Um, so for that one, what I wanna do, because I want it to be a little bit more permanent, I'm actually gonna use carpet tape. So get out my carpet tape, wherever the edge is. Put my strip down the middle. Cut off the bottom. And I'm actually gonna do two more on either side so that the full footbed is covered. That's my choice. You don't have to do that. You could go with just the one. Um, I've already done it with two and a half strips on this one and I've got a little piece stuck on the bottom which I have to get rid of before I stick it on there so that I've got on there so now what I'm going to do take my last strip off again carpet tape may damage your shoes if you try to pull this off so make sure this is on a shoe that you you're okay with leaving your insoles in okay so here's my insole two-sided carpet tape gently and carefully slip it in because this will stick once it hits the shoe so i'm sticking it in kind of holding it up a little bit and then once i've got it close to where i think i'm going to let the heel touch and then slowly start to work my way up to the toe being careful of the strap and voila done so i now have two one semi-permanent one permanent and two removable insoles for my summer shoes and I'll enjoy them. Thank you, Fox Life. Uh, again, if somebody has forwarded this, this uh, video to you, enjoy it, go back and thank them uh, and then go back and order some pencils from them. If you do not have a Fox Life rep, feel free to contact me. Enjoy, thanks, bye.